Welcome back. And as the refit continues through April, it's time to take Luena out of the water and put her into the boatyard so we can achieve all the jobs that can only be done when she's on dry land. Now, this uh, list um, includes things like replacing all the through holes with composites, putting a brand new through hole in for the water maker we're gonna fit later this year, uh, service the sail drive and replace the lower seals, we're also going to fit a brand new Hydroax rope cutter along with a Brunton's auto prop. Uh, at the same time, we're going to um, replace all the anodes on the bottom of the boat. And last but not least, we're going to remove all the old anti foul and copper coat Luena's hull. But before we can start anything, we have to take Luena's sails down because the boatyard has what's called a bare poles policy. We start by mousing all the lazy jack lines because I want to check their condition and replace them if we need to. Next the head sail needs to come down. head sail has four vertical battens that need to be removed before we can roll her up and put her in a bag. With the sail down, we need to bring it to the back of the boat and then onto the pontoon where we can then roll it up. It's about now you start to understand how big a 38 square metre sail really is. Now we're on to the even bigger 50 square meter main sail, which is connected to our mast by sail cars and has five horizontal battens, all of which will need to be removed. Each car is disconnected from the sail before lowering the next car down. The top battens are fine as they're fairly small, but as you move down the sail, the lower battens are long and cumbersome. But I suppose that's the price you pay for a good sail shape. A week later, and after Storm Noah has blown itself through, 
We're heading out of our slip and around to the boat yard and the 180 tonne travel lift, which will lift her out of the water and put her onto the harbour. I've heard other boat owners say this, but seeing Luena out of the water is the strangest feeling. She's not looking bad for 18 months and I don't think the previous anti felt job was done particularly well either. Two days later she's been slurry blasted and most of the old anti felt has been removed using a mix of fine sand and water. The rest is then taken back with a hand sander and is one job I decline to take on. Good morning. So today's the day we're going to service the cell drive. Uh, we're going to take out the old oil and we're going to replace the cell drive seals. It's wet, it's dreary, it's not a great day, but it's got to be done. So here's the uh, service kit. That's uh, two seals two o-rings and the o-ring for the drain valve. So just need to remove it all and replace these. I'm helping. <laughs> <laughs> but here's the the sow drive that we've got to service so that's one of the seals in there oh, right, yeah. okay and there's another one on the back of it so we've got to take all of this off okay. which then will obviously leak the oil out yeah. and then there's a, a rubber o-ring on the inside there's another one I'm not quite sure where but i'm hoping to see it on the way out is there going to be loads more oil in no. there no no it's all drained out here that's the lowest that's the lowest point it might oh, be a little okay. bit
good neck. Okay, so here we are, the new seals have been replaced. Um, unfortunately, um, videoing, taking the old seals out was just way too stressful. And that's so, so here's the old seals. And that, they're all smashed up now, getting them out. Because um, it's all right breaking the seals, but you can't really damage the, the sleeve that they're sitting in. So, so yes, a little stressful, not the easiest thing in the world, but uh, they're done now. Show this one. She pretty. I cut your fingers off. jacking bolts I hold it open so you put it on and then you have the spline bolts which tighten it on to the shaft clever stuff put that in that way round and hold it and then turn that one I'd let you do it all, girl. Yeah, just like people to know that I do exist. You do exist? <laughs> I'm happy. I want you on camera all the time.
but I'll need to take a picture. This is called a key bolt and has a slot in the side of the bolt head. I'm trying to align this slot with another threaded hole so we can put the final locking bolt in place. And there she is, finally serviced with all new seals, a rope cutter and a prop. Next time we set about the hole with a grinder, hammer and a drill. Before I lose it, oh, lost it again. And Luena finally gets her copper bottle. Until then, stay safe. <laughs>